Hey viewers, today we will be taking a look at what critical mass is. Critical mass is a term used in nuclear fission reactions, especially weapons, to describe the minimum mass necessary to reach a sustained reaction in the material. A sustained reaction means that on average each fusion reaction triggers exactly one new fusion reaction, so the number of fusion reactions happening in each time unit is the same. At this point, adding more material will make the mass super critical, which means that the reaction will become exponentially bigger and uncontrollable. Removing material will make the reaction become less and less intense over time, since each generation of fusion reactions triggers less new reactions. The critical mass of a material depends upon its nuclear fission cross-section, its density, its shape, its enrichment, its purity, its temperature and its surroundings. The nuclear fission cross-section is used to characterize the probability that a nuclear reaction will occur. The bigger the cross-section, the more likely it is that a nuclear reaction will occur. The size of the cross-section depends on the thickness of the material and the amount of atoms per unit volume. The density kind of ties in with the nuclear cross-section. The higher the density, the closer the atoms will be together and the more likely it is that a neutron traveling through the material will collide with an atom and cause a fission reaction. The shape is a huge factor in critical mass. Certain shapes make it very easy for a neutron generated by one atom to find another atom, whereas other shapes make it a lot harder. A sphere is regarded as the most efficient shape for the core, but sometimes it is undesirable to use an efficient shape and other shapes are used. The enrichment and purity both increase the amount of atoms per unit volume that can potentially participate in a nuclear fission reaction. The temperature effect works in two ways. On the one hand, a higher temperature makes the atoms move faster, making it more likely that a neutron will collide with them. On the other hand, a higher temperature will make the material expand, which causes it to have less atoms per unit volume. For surroundings that can influence the critical mass, we have to think about neutron reflectors and tempers, both of which are materials that inject the outgoing neutrons back into the core, reducing the critical mass of the material significantly. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.